come to the George R. Brown Lamar balcony and come and sit down in these chairs and just enjoy the skyline. Like, what other city do you go to where you have this capability? And the best part about here is look at this. We buy ourselves. Amazing. It's a nice little duck off spot. Come chill here. You can enjoy the sunset. Make what? Steak, lobster, steak, lobster, mac and cheese, and broccoli. Right, sir? Yes, oh, I did. Man, to eat. Save, save money and come cook with us. Try this one out. We've never tried it before. Time to keep on shopping. What else do we need, sir? Mm. Oh, you were right. It is over here. Of course, you have to get the halo tops. The candy bar is the best. Look at her. Look how she trying to over here do these lobsters. Just tearing them up. There you go. Oh, well, I guess. I did it. So we're going to have lobster. <laughs> I did that. We're going to have lobster and some good old steak. Mm -hmm. Already got them seasoned, just letting them get to room temperature, and we're going to throw those on some hot, on a hot, hot pan. Uh-huh. And the pasta's cooking. Got the pasta going. So, oh, we need to take the broccoli out. Yeah, we'll get that. We'll, we'll, we'll get to it. I'm telling this is pretty, actually. You got to be tender and rough at the same time. Mm-hmm. You're breaking the shell. <laughs> okay. It's like it's hard to be tender and rough at the yeah, same time. That's why I say hell with it. I was just gonna throw them bad boys in the oven or whatever with everything on it, just like that. You say you're supposed to pinch it back in. Should I still pinch it? Mm, I mean, if you want to, go ahead. I'm gonna lie. I feel like I'm gonna mess it up. Well, you leave it as it is. You put some rig. Okay. After you carefully try to take it out, even though I kind of broke it so. Yeah, you <laughs> see? Come here. Come over here. You see that? <laughs> you see that whole part that's broken? Mm. You see it? Yeah. It looks all right, though. I mean, it's our first time doing it's it. It's our so. first time. This one was pretty good. Yeah. Then you put some olive oil. Some olive oil. We don't have olive oil, so we're improvising. We can just use regular oil. Canola oil? Yeah. Or what vegetable, vegetable oil. oil. It's vegetable oil. But you put some oil on it and you massage him. You massage both sides, okay? Keep in mind, everybody likes meat that's been a little tenderized. So a massage is like you tenderizing your lobster. Then you put it back. You know, washing your hands is the most important thing ever. So you don't contaminate anything else, okay? With this coronova, Conora virus that's going on, it's important to wash your hands thoroughly, okay? Don't forget the nails. But after you're done washing, you want, if you want at least a little bit of color, you use paprika. Nothing but, do we ever really use paprika? I use it sometimes, For some of my dishes. I mean, it just depends on what I'm cooking, you know. Oh, they touch it. Oh, it's fine. Give it some color. Mm -hmm. I'm so tempted to put some cayenne on this. Go I ahead, put a little cayenne on it. Why not? <clears throat> and the cayenne is pretty much the same color as the paprika. Mm -hmm. I won't go too crazy. Mm -hmm. Lately, I've been going a little crazy. Mm-hmm. But it comes out good, though. I think that's good, though. 
and have a nice little kick because who doesn't like a kick with this seafood that's true and then you have the oven at 375 it's ready which pan one is nice presented oven 375 put it in here and you only put it in here for 12 minutes because ours is around eight ounces so that's for 12 minutes We had bought the steak from another grocery store before yesterday. We should have marinated it yesterday too, but we didn't. The bad boys looking good. They do look really good. Take some butter. Mm-hmm. I don't like that much butter, so I think this is good enough. Oh, that's a lot for that little side. You'll be all right. And bring it on the top shelf, and we're gonna put it on bra. Well, oh, let me add some lemon juice. Should we add lemon juice? Go ahead, hit it up. Mm hmm. Help bring out the flavor a little bit. Okay. Oh, it smells really good. Mm -hmm. 49, we're going to let sit like that. Oh, did we say we brought, after we put the lobster in there, we broiled it for three uh, minutes. Boiled three minutes. At least you tell your butter is melted. That's all. That's all you're trying to do. Just melt the butter on top. Let that lemon juice kind of seep into that shrimp tail a little bit. Add a little bit of flavor. You know, like these here, we're going for like a medium well plus on our steak. So I think we let them sit about six to seven minutes on each side. I think we should be okay. Well, are you going to uh, use a thermometer? Um, it's not so good. No, we'll see. That's not so good. Yeah. All right, so they're done. They've been in there for about five minutes on bro. Three minutes. Yeah, three minutes. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. The other one kind of unraveled a little. It's alright. He flipped it. It's looking a little more darker, but it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Make it the way it works for you. And if it's just too long, it's still okay. It's still gonna be. Easy. Okay, I'm ready. Let me get the other one. It didn't look as well. It wasn't well done. This one looks like it's medium. Put the light on. Put a flashlight. So we can get a good look. It looks like a good medium. But I guess not because it's a more for medium medium well. I like to pick it like this. Mine is like almost. I cut mine up. Oops. Mine's pretty much like almost. It's medium rare plus. It's not a hundred percent well done, but pretty much right there.
Now I'm good. Possibly drop the I'm telling you, save your money and cook with us. Because <laughs> this is looking like some good eating right here. He's been going through a, what, a steak phase right now where he's just like, ooh, I want to try different ways and everything, right? Mm -hmm. In that case, I'm ready to eat. You ready to eat? You know I am. All right. <laughs> How you feeling about the steak? So good. It came out perfect. Even though I had to put it back on there for my likings, but it came out perfect. Mm. Tender, juicy, full of flavor. But I wish I knew the temperature I need to get it to to always get it to this consistent where I like it. So I haven't put it back in every time? Mm hmm But maybe when you put it back in, that juice gets soaked up again. I think so. And I think that's why you like oh, it so man. much. I should think I like it. What? Like the lobster. It's mm -hmm. actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. 